Hey guys, it's Aaron. I wanted to do something this week that I thought was kind of a neat option if you uh, ever have to use some non-tiling materials in SketchUp. Um, I ran into a thing where I was trying to use a sample of floor flooring, an image, uh, in a model, and it wasn't a tiling image, it didn't repeat. So obviously there's the option is if you're a Photoshop user, you could go in and take any flooring and make it into a tiling solution. Um, but I wanted to take a look at how we could actually tile non-tiling materials right inside SketchUp. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so first thing I do is import my material. So I'm going to just kind of throw a rectangle on the ground. And then I can import the material. So I'm going to go to File, Import, grab that wood floor, Import. I'm just going to double click to place it. All right, now I can actually just resize this however I want. This is kind of big right now, but uh, it's going to work well to show what I want to show here. So you can see this is a good looking tile except, or a good looking material except you can see right here it cuts, it repeats, it's not tiling. Same thing up here, it chops off right here. But I have some good looking boards in here in the meantime. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. So I have some that look like I can use them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here under the surface. This is just a surface. I imported as a texture, not an image. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. I want to go about in the middle of where that uh, grout line or that transition is and click right there. All right, so I just traced one single board. Now what I'm going to do is grab just the lines. The lines specifically, I don't want to grab the surface because I don't want to move the surface over. I just want to move the lines. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click my modifier key to copy and snap it right here along this line. All right, now I want to do that again. I want to copy that again, but what's real important here is I want to make sure that I move that exact same distance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here with these, these new lines are selected. I'm going to click right here to pick my from point, hit my modifier key to copy, and go to my second point here. It's okay if this doesn't line up perfectly because we're going to make adjustments. In fact, I can already see, see how it goes off the edge? That's not going to be ideal, but we're going to make it work. I'm going to do the same thing. I want to grab those same lines, all three sets of lines, and I'm going to copy them straight down vertically. So what I can do here is I can double click here, shift, double click here, double click here, and then still holding down shift, I can just click to turn off those three pieces. So I want just the lines again. Now I'm going to grab them here, modifier key to copy straight down, and I'm going to hold shift to constrain to that green axis. I'm going to drag it all the way down to this bottom section. All right, so what that's done is it's created, oops, I didn't copy everything. I missed these couple lines out here. So I'm going to grab those three lines like that, and I will copy those from here down to the end of this. That's important. Those little, that little spot where it hangs out is important. In fact, we're going to clean this up right now. I'm going to delete this line. Oops, here, let's do this. Put a line here to close that surface first and then delete that. Same thing up here. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete what's ever outside of those six rect rectangles I just created. Okay. So right now, most of these boards look good. This one looks good, this one looks good. This one looks a little off. Let's see, because I got that intentional thing that we did right there, we cut that. So I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna say make a unique texture. By making it a unique texture, I actually made this different from these pieces. What that also does makes it real easy to go texture, position, and then I can just kind of grab these pins right here, pull them out ever so slightly, and get rid of that little white space there. I'm gonna do the same thing down here. This one too is a little bit of a cut here. So I'm gonna say, make unique texture, right click, position my texture, and slide this one out also. All right, so with that, we now have basically six of these uh, floor tile, wood tile things, all looking good. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take these all, I'm going to right click, 
and say combine textures. Do I erase the interior edges? Yes, I do. That looks pretty good. So now this is one texture. So here's the cool part. Here's what I can do now. I can take this, I can select it and copy it to right here. Maybe I'll do that X four times. And I can take all that and I can put that option copy straight up. Do that X four times also. And with that, look at this, I have basically created my own special tiling texture without having an actual tiling image. So if you don't have the ability to use Photoshop to make this tiling, you can do that directly inside of SketchUp. Now, one of the cool things I can do right now also is I can come in. So obviously right now I have some breaks. I have these, these lines coming through here. If I erase them, it's going to merge and potentially do some weird stuff to the image. So I don't want to do that. But what I can do is I can come in with shift and shift erase these panel lines in between. And watch what's going to happen. It's going to look like it's all one big piece, even though it's separate. So when I do that, look at that. It's like one big seamless texture, but it's actually a bunch of separate pieces with the edges hidden. So that's just an example of the kind of thing you can do when using textures inside of SketchUp. Um, probably should have been using the term materials because that's really what it's called, but uh, textures, materials, those words kind of become interwoven and exchangeable, <laughs> interchangeable as you're working through SketchUp. But it goes to show you don't have to have a seamless texture in order to do a large surface inside SketchUp. You can actually take just about any image and if you go in and cut the geometry right, you can tile it however you like. So hopefully you like that. Uh, if so, give us a like down below. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. We try to do these once or twice a week. And most importantly, leave a comment. If this comment, if this uh, video is going to help you, let me know. If you think that there's a better way it could have been presented or something cool you'd like to see, let us know that too. If you have an alternative workflow to this, I'd love to hear about that as well. Like making these videos a lot, but like making them a lot more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.